Hello and welcome to our episode of Showcase on Dark Souls Remaster. For today's item, well, I'm doing armor. It's going to be, well, the knight set. Not the elite knight, the basic knight set. The one you can get at the very beginning of the game if you chose the correct class. Now, I won't be showing it, but where you grab this if you're not starting that class is in the, the valley basin by the hydra. You know where that is. <laughs> Anyway, the reason why I didn't get footage because I kept dying to the Hydra. Now, uh, visually, well, it is a basic knight set with proper pauldrons. Pretty much uh, portraying uh, someone who's right-handed, as your left hand is designed to be more defensive with a shield, if you will. Yes, with, mm, with lots of uh, armor on the left side, not so much on the right side. Other than that, you've got an excessive amount of belts dangling which would be a bad idea in combat. Imagine if your enemies just grab one of those and just bash your head in with that warhammer. Ooh. Other than that, the uh, kilt looks good. The Sarkas is nice and strong. Stronger than the Elite Knight, I might add. Helmet, virtually identical, except for it's open. But however, when you get to uh, the legs, it's not so much. You've got knee pads. But everything beneath these is just plain boots, and that it's not fit for same level of combat that the rest of the armor shows. <laughs> uh, other than that, there's some kind of ass scarf or some remains of a cape. I'm not sure it's what it's trying to portray, but oh well. Other than that, you've got uh, a remaining dagger on your belt as well to finish off said downed opponents. In terms of real historical value, well, this can be sort of all over the place. There are many different styles of armor. This simply follows the basic characteristics of a lot of them. Uh, not sure so much on the right side, leaving so little armor compared to left, but it's more of adventure style. Now, interesting, when we go on the back, we can see our, our guy is a well-traveled knight. He's carrying a little satchel, probably of various oils and tools, maybe. Cooking supplies, I don't know. Plus, uh, little pockets. Where what these pockets contain? Whatever your mind desires. <laughs> and the kilt does go all the way around to the back, which is also nice, to protect the arse from arrows, chances are when you're running. <laughs> but yes, we all see the elbow joint on the left side is very pronounced and sits stable, which you can see blatantly on the right side, you have next to nothing protecting you. Not even a proper uh, gauntlet either, you just got a leather glove. <laughs> you have almost no protection on that arm and that's your weakest point aside from your feet. Is that a bad thing? Well, in Dark Souls doesn't really matter, but in real life this this would not be really up to par to fight with another knight, say who served the Vatican Church, for example. <laughs> Moving on though. On the description of the knight helmet, a knight of a lower helm of a lower knight, despite the thin metal used, the groove texture gives it added protection. And I got the elite knight helmet on the other side, which you can see they're almost identical, well they're in some small stylistic changes. <laughs> Stat-wise, they're close, but not quite the same. Now, the other ball armor, same thing. Same description, just changes the name of the actual item you're looking at. So stats, we can see physically, it holds up 14 defense, which is not bad. Is it the, well, the best armor? No, it's your starting armor. <laughs> but still, it's not bad. Magic defense, a 6, eh. Fire, it's acceptable at ball 8. Lightning, even less at 5 to magic. Poison is acceptable at 8.0. The bleed resistant, uh, poison resistant, eh, and no curse resistant. Durability is plenty at 400, and the weight is acceptable. Going on to the main suit, Balt main uh, circus, which everyone prefers. Uh, 37 physical, lots. Magic, uh, 16. Fire, 18, which is all right now. Lightning at 13, which is not that great. Poison, 20, lots. Bleed us in 23, eh, poison 16, and still no curse, and the weight, eh, 10, it's acceptable. Now if the part everyone gives up, the gauntlet, physically at uh, only 17, you can easily live without. Magic, 7, like the helmet, almost. Fire is at 8, like the helmet. Lightning's at 4, which is not that great. <laughs> poison is at unnoticeable 6. Bleed distance at 8, whatever. Poison, almost nothing at 5, no curse yet again. And the weight's only 3.5, so a lot of people pass it up. Rather, just quick lighter gauntlets in the beginning. On the light leggings, second armor, uh, compared to the chest, 
Physical at 22, which is plenty. Magical Defense at 10. Eh. Fire 11. That's not bad. Lightning is acceptable at 8. Poise is 12. Bleed. Yeah, I'm going repeating myself. There's no curse. <laughs> Wait a 6.0. You get the idea. It's Borderland acceptable. Now, here's a comparison compared to the Elite Knight. Well, it's fully upgraded anyway. You can see that Lightning Defense, neither of these really offer all that much. Fire, acceptable amount. But uh, very close to being the Elite Knight, but the Elite Knight's, uh, if you will, one step above. No more, no less. But in terms of fire defense, they are identical. Weight-wise, close, only 0.3 of a difference. Now if you go to the uh, Circus, you can see that the flame is again the same. So fire, same fire defense. Other than that, uh, you see there's a durability, small durability difference of 50 points. Eh, a little redundant. And really, for the 0.8 of a pound, you probably go with the Elite Knight armor set. Otherwise, eh, it's a pretty close game. Even Magic's very close. Gauntlets, again, but everyone passes up, and you're almost looking at the same points. It's same Magic, same Fire. And weight difference of 0.2, you'd take the Elite Knight if you were actually equipping these in the beginning. Otherwise, just two, a small difference of two defense points and three lightning, which isn't all that much. But yeah, people in the beginning, I, I am guilty of it too when I first started. I didn't equip the Knight, Elite Knight Gauntlets, I skimmed on it to save weight so I can roll. <laughs> Next is the Knight Leggings. Uh, well, again, fire's the same. But uh, lightning, very close at three points difference, but mm, not that great. Magic to magic and physical is a two point difference and the weight is a half a pound heavier so again you would go with elite knight <laughs> so almost in every facet you would go with elite knight but you don't start out with the elite knight set that's the important thing <laughs> let's get some pros and cons started here well for the pros for the knight's armor well it's uh, armor set you can get quite quickly if you start with it i think that is the only pro on the con, uh, it's not really meant for newbies. I don't. It's not really a good starting armor. <laughs> I consider that a pretty big con. And uh, by the time you actually acquire it, it's useless if you ever find it otherwise. Okay, enough for pros and cons. For the score, defense. Well, really, this is going to be just a small, slightly better or better and worse version of Elite Knight. But anyway, defense a B minus. It's slightly worse than the Elite Knight set. Weight is slightly better though, at a solid B. This Clinius, I'm gonna give it a C. Mainly on the premise that uh, it's pretty useless by the time you physically get it. So overall, I don't know, a C plus. It's, it's all right if you start with it, but even then you can't even wear the whole blasted thing. <laughs> uh, there's not much else, but now, I'm going to also mention that, uh, again, where to get it, you get the basin in the Darkwood Garden by the Hydra. I lost my footage because I got corrupted and I died too many times trying to get it. Now, I'd argue, if you could defeat that Hydra and get this armor, you're not going to wear it because you're already too powerful for it. <laughs> A bit absurd. But I guess for those who want to be completionists, it is there. But no matter. Let's wrap this up. And by wrapping things up, I actually don't know what to talk about in terms of this. It is a plain vanilla armor. It is the vanilla armor. Actually, it was not even established as the vanilla armor. The Elite Knight set is. It's the one you're wearing. <laughs> you left this one behind, you forgot about it, and it's probably even sold by you. <laughs> it was done by me, but no matter. That's been Showcase for today. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.